Hi Stoughton, this is uh, Steve Cavey, selectman for the town of Stoughton. It's um, March 22nd, 2020. Um, just decided to reach out to you guys. I, I um, you've been, been laying low just because uh, everyone else has. And I um, uh, wanted to send a message out to everybody. You know, obviously things are kind of crazy, but I've been um, driving around today. It's really the first time I got out of the house in a while. Uh, but I went over to, to the Red Cross in Denham and uh, gave blood there there's a big need for it so uh, if you're able to and you're interested in it um, you know uh, we can help each other out maybe that way uh, just trying to find you know some ways to do some good and make some make some uh, you know find a silver lining even make one if we need to but while I was driving back I was kind of thinking you know over some things and and um, you know one of the things that that kind of struck me is that that um you know, we all have different talents. Uh, there's things that come naturally to us, and I was thinking about this. Uh, uh, you know, this um, philosopher I was, I was reading back in college. It was a long time ago, but his name was uh, Michel de Montaigne. He was a f French. Um, I think I think he was. Um, was his first profession was in the military, but I don't think he was a general. Uh, but he was he was a pretty highly ranked uh, fellow, and after he was he was done with all that, he spent some time um, you know thinking, writing. And uh, he may not have invented um, the essay, but he was sort of more or less the, the guy who's usually associated with uh, the start of the idea of, of an essay. And uh, so, you know, short writings of just of, of some reflections. And I think that one of the one of the things he said in one of his uh, uh, essays um, kind of resonated with me a little bit and stuck with me all these years. And I, it was that, um, you know, that that when he was talking about virtue and what virtue is, he was, he was basically saying that, you know, we kind of give people credit for things that um, sometimes they just come innately to them. Uh, and I think the example he used, I, I haven't looked any of this up in, in 20 years, so I might be getting some of, the, some of the details wrong, but one of the examples he used is that he uh, really liked vegetables, right? He, he's just a huge fan of vegetables. And so where we normally say, you know, you have to eat your vegetables and people who do that are, uh, are, are good. The fact is that he just liked them and that's what he wanted anyway. So it wasn't really difficult for him to do. And so, uh, he was kind of asking like, Hey, you know, is that really a virtue? Is it, it am I virtuous for eating my vegetables when I really want to, or is it really virtuous to, to do something you don't want to do? Um, and for it to be a little bit of a struggle, is, is that really what, where virtue is? Um, do you have to, uh, you know, for people who don't like vegetables, eating them, that maybe that's a, maybe that's a virtue. You might be asking, why am I thinking about all this, and why am I talking to you about it? But you know, one of the things that kind of the reason why this came up in my mind was that that uh, one of the things that that uh, and this is not a boast, it just comes naturally to me is uh, I'm a very introverted person. So spending a lot of time alone uh, or you know in my house by myself, not really seeing people much, and just maybe communicating every now and then th through, through text or phone calls. It's perfectly fine by me. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, and I've always known that about myself. I could probably, you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to be too presumptuous, but uh, I've always thought that like solitary confinement is like really wouldn't be all that be all that bad. You know, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that um, you know what, what we're going through right now, all this stuff doesn't really phase me very much. Um, but I do know that there are a lot of people that are very deeply bothered by this and have a very hard time sort of getting getting. Um, uh, getting through this and we're just really at the beginning. It's going to get worse uh, for a little while, probably you know, just based on what I'm hearing in the news. So I wanted to reach out as kind of thinking about folks who, where this maybe is not so easy. And I just wanted to say like, you know, I want to be there for you. Um, on this message below, I'm going to include, uh, my town phone number. I, I would give it to you. I think I'll give it right now. I just don't, I might be misremembering it. I, I don't actually remember the number, but I think it's uh 71, six zero eight one one four seven or it could be one one two seven i'll post it below so you so you've got it um but uh if you're getting if you're getting kind of lonely if you need somebody to talk to uh feel free to give me a call anytime uh i'm gonna be working from home so there might be times where i'm not able to speak for very long or i might have to call you back but um you know if you're if you're alone we could talk about anything you know i've got a lot of a lot of interests, so uh, if you want to talk about music, you know, or if you want to talk about what's going on in the town, you know, anything, anything. 
I like it all. Um, the only thing I just heads up, I don't really follow sports, so if, if you're going to talk about sports, I, I might not really have all that much to contribute. But, <laughs> but, uh, but um, uh, other than that, you know, sky's the limit, and um, you know, give me a call if you just want to chat uh, on that number. We're going to get through this. Um, you know, it's it's uh, some scary stuff, but I think we, we just have to. So long as we just all keep our keep our head, wits about us and and keep calm. I think we'll be okay, you know, I, I really do. Um, and we'll, uh, I'll, I'll do more of these just to kind of, you know, as best I can keep you guys informed. Right now there's really nothing to inform you about other than, than you know, the entire world has changed in a big way. And so, you know, the business of the town is gonna be changing too. Uh, how that, what that looks like is not really known, um, but, but we're all gonna have to um, you know, reconsider our priorities. Uh, they're going to change. And so, you know, all the things that were true, you know, a month ago, or we'll see, say even last year, right, 2019, all the things we were thinking about, all the things we cared about, uh, we're going to have to reassess um, and to see, you know, given the changing environments, uh, what that looks like. And that's that's another thing is that I've, I've been, I wasn't always good with it, but I was, I've gotten a lot better with dealing with ambiguity. I think that's that's oddly enough is what what drives a lot of people really crazy. Um, what I found is that they they take bad news. A lot of, most people take bad news fairly well, you know. Take good news very very well too. But it's really like there's like not a non answer. Like just like you're just gonna have to wait and find out. There's a lot of ambiguity. It drives people crazy. Um, so I want to try to fix that as well um, to the best of my ability. Give you the information we have. Right now, I mean, there's not, there's almost nothing to report. I'll, uh, I'll but I'll do these uh, these videos uh, periodically, and uh, just get you guys as much information as I can. Hopefully, help you out, um, and clear up some whatever ambiguity I can. But other than that, you know, just um, I'm your neighbor. You know, reach out whenever you need anything. You can give me a call at the number that I, I provided <laughs> below because I don't remember what it is. Uh, but but call me, really honestly, anytime and about anything. Um, uh, I'm there for you, and I know you're going to be there for me. So I'll let you guys go. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to, to represent the town. Uh, and thanks for, for all being awesome neighbors. Um, so long as we take care of each other, we're going to be okay. Talk to you in a bit.